Welcome to the Freedom Lever Channel. This time, we're taking a look at a stainless M4 profile barrel from Bear Creek Arsenal. The model number is B223WCM41618SS. It's 16 inches long with a carbine gas system, a 1 and 8 twist rate, chambered in 223 wild, and made from 416R stainless steel. On the Bear Creek Arsenal website, they say that all of the machine work for their barrels is done at their location at 310 McNeil Road, Sanford, North Carolina, and all of their finished barrels go through a 100% inspection process, including air gauging the bores, and they're manufactured under ISO 9002. I also found this statement in the description of one of their barrels. Quote, all BCA barrels are guaranteed a 1.000 MOA at 100 yards with the appropriate ammo and shooting techniques, end quote. Now, it's worth noting that they don't say what appropriate ammo and techniques are, so it's a little bit open-ended. I ordered this barrel from Primary Arms for $79.99, and I received it one week after ordering. It was well packaged and looks to be finished extremely well. But unfortunately, it had a blemish on top of the barrel extension. It looked like whoever drove the index pin into the barrel extension missed and smashed the top of the extension, which mushroomed out the flange where it meets the upper receiver. This displaced metal prevented the barrel from seating correctly against the upper receiver, so the barrel was unusable. I sent an email with pictures to warranty at bearcreekarsenal.com and quickly received a reply with a return authorization and a shipping label. I was pleased with the lack of hassle, however it ended up taking just about a month to get the replacement barrel. The new barrel looks nice and installed with no issues. For testing, I assembled the rifle you see here. It has Anderson receivers, CMMG lower parts, Aero Precision bolt carrier group and gas block, a 12-inch Midwest Industries SS Gen 2 free-floating handguard, the obligatory Magpul furniture, and a Leupold VX2 309 in an Aero Precision SPR mount. I chose seven factory loads ranging from 40 to 77 grains and fired them at 100 yards, taking my time from a bench rest. Here are the results. I started with Nosler factory loaded 40 grain ballistic tips. The 5 shot group came in at 1.74 inches. Next was some German M193 that I have heard great things about. It grouped horribly out of this barrel at 5.92 inches. Hornaday factory 55 grain VMAX grouped well at right at 2 inches even. Next, I shot Australian Outback ammo loaded with the 55 grain Sierra Blitz King. I've had excellent results with this ammo previously, but the group from this barrel was less impressive at 2.65 inches. Moving up in weight, I shot Nosler factory loaded 60 grain ballistic tips. They grouped 2.17 inches. Next, my IMI Razor Core 69 grain Sierra Match Kings grouped 5.98 inches. Finally, my IMI Razor Core 77 grain grouped 1.76 inches. It's worth noting that I only had three of these rounds left, so we have to assume a five-shot group would have been slightly larger. With the exception of the M193, these were all either match loads or varmint loads from high-quality manufacturers, and we did not see any groups that quite approached one MOA. One thing to remember is that this barrel was brand new out of the box with no break-in before the test. It's possible that after a few more good shooting and cleaning sessions, the groups would tighten up. In fact, if you look at the two 55 grain varmint loads, you'll notice a fairly tight four shot group that was opened up by the fifth shot. After the burrs are worn away from the rifling, these little flyers may disappear. And in the case of the Australian Outback 55 grain, we would have had a sub MOA group. That is just speculation on my part. The fact is that our tightest group was 1.74 inches from the 40 grain Nosler ballistic tips, which did not quite measure up to Bear Creek Arsenal's 1 MOA claim. All in all, this is good performance from an M4 profile barrel. With the added corrosion resistance of stainless steel, it's a great value at the $79 price point. If this barrel configuration fits your needs, then I say go for it. 
Thanks a lot for watching the Freedom Lover channel. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. Take care.